안녕하세요. Looks like it's finally working. 안녕하세요. So, okay. So, I had some trouble connecting to YouTube maybe 10 minutes ago. I wanted to start it on time. Sorry for the delay. Thanks for waiting. And um, I'm streaming. <laughs> I see myself in two different screens now. 제가 지금 화면 두 군데에서 보이고 있어요. 안녕하세요. Hi. 드디어, finally. So welcome back to everybody on Instagram because I'm talk I was talking to people on Instagram as well right before I couldn't connect to YouTube. So today we are going to, oh, by the way, can you see this reversed or can you see it correctly? Because the last time I wanted to show you the reversed mirrored image properly and I mirrored it, I reversed it on my screen thinking that it would be the right side, but then actually, um, yeah, okay. So you you guys were able to read it correctly all along. So, <laughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, I, okay. So, everybody on Instagram, you can read this too, right? So, um, either way, uh, if you are watching on YouTube or in on Instagram, uh, doesn't matter. You can stay where you are. On Instagram, however, there is a one hour limit. And then I will have to start the live stream again. But on YouTube, I think it can be a little longer. So please ask any questions related to the Korean language, learning Korean, or any grammar point that you have trouble with, or our premium membership that we recently launched, which was just last week. It's been like 10 days and a lot of people Actually, more than more people than I than we had anticipated have already signed up. So that's very exciting, and many people are leaving very positive feedback. So yeah, you can ask any questions about anything we do. Our books. I have a bunch of books here. So let's get started. Let me start by. Okay, so it is reversed on Instagram. Sorry about that. So maybe you can just focus on. <laughs> um, yeah, let me just read some comments. Uh, Pandy, I love the new website. Thank you. And how many hearts is that? Like 10. Thank you. Yeah, on Instagram, it's reversed. On YouTube, it's not reversed. All right. Um, do you have the Korean proficiency test on your updated website? Well, the Korean proficiency test, if you're talking about the topic exam, we don't have anything related to topic yet. We are developing content for the topic test preparation. We do have our own level test where you can see what level of Korean you have in terms of our curriculum. Um, you can go to talktomeinkorean.com slash level test. There's a hyphen between level and test, or just go to your learning center. You will see it the top of your learning center. Okay. I just saw my name. Hyunwoo씨. 안녕하세요. 아리 씨. 반갑습니다. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. 안녕하세요. Lots of 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Uh, by the way, the reason that I'm here instead of the lovely Kyunghwa is because she's traveling again. She always tells me that she doesn't enjoy traveling. Maybe she doesn't enjoy the process of having to go through airport security, packing, all that. 저한테 항상 여행 안 좋아한다고 하는데 항상 여행을 가요. And whenever she goes on a trip, she goes on these long trips. She's, she was in Iceland um, like a month ago. She's now in Finland. And she went skiing, I think. So <laughs> yeah, where is she? I was going to say she's in Finland now. Okay, yeah, she travels far and wide. Um, by the way, I am looking at both screens. I will, I'm not neglecting anyone on Instagram, but I will uh, predominantly look at, mainly look at the YouTube screen, mainly because it's a bigger screen. 자, 그러면 질문에도 답을 해 봅시다. 아, 첫 번째 질문, 네스마, 자료, 재료. What's the difference? Okay, I also have my iPad here. 자료 and 재료. Um, 재료 can be a material when it comes to making things like cooking materials, cooking ingredients, and when you are crafting something with your hands, 
만들기 재료, crafting, 만들기, like making things, 만들다 is to make. So um, you can uh, say 만들기 할 거예요. We're going to have a crafting session and 재료 is the materials like the wood, plastic, paper, glue, things like that. And 자료, well, also you can say 요리 재료, like um, ingredients for, so you can say 요리 재료, like um, ingredients for a recipe. 자료, however, it's also a material, but it's more like a data related. So 학습 자료. You say 학습 자료, learning material, but never 학습 재료 because you're not like hand crafting anything. You're not making anything with your hands. 현인이 님 says, 현우 선생님이 너무 좋아요. Yes, these are the kind of content, uh, comments that I'm looking for. <laughs> um, 직고한, I'm a beginner. What book should I start with? Um, if you don't know how to write, how to read these Hangul letters, please definitely go for a go with our Hangul book. It's a very, very effective book. You can learn to read and write the Hangul letters. And half of the book is actually dedicated to deciphering Korean handwriting. Whenever you come to Korea and actually see someone's handwritten uh, note or something, it's super difficult. It's much more difficult than you uh, than when you read printed letters. Um, okay, I wasn't fishing for a comment like this, but 너무 귀여워요, 저요. 감사합니다. 네, 감사합니다. And by the way, a lot of people, whenever I wear anything like this, a uh, sweater, a uh, sweatshirt with uh, our logo on it or our Talk to Me Korean like brand name on it, people ask me, when can I buy the merch or where can I buy the merch? Uh, we don't sell merchandise. Uh, this is just a one-off item. I had it made just because I wanted to wear something with the brand logo on it. And this was like $40 to make. Um, have it made and it's really nice but it would be if we were to make something like this for sale it would be too expensive and the shipping and the logistics will be too difficult 그래서 이거 지금 한 벌밖에 없어요 벌, 벌 is uh, 한 벌, 옷한 벌 uh, is the usual counter for clothes, 벌. So 옷한 벌, 두 벌, 세 벌. Uh, when it's a t-shirt or a sweatshirt like this, you can say like t-shirt 한 장. Okay, so 이거 한 장밖에 없어요. All right. 방탄 애기, <laughs> 방탄 baby asks, Sam, 문제 하나 있는데요. We have a question. Uh, 질문이죠, 질문. 문제는 uh, 질문이죠 질문 문제는 question word for question exclamations um, 가장 많이 쓰는 거 요즘에 헐 많이 쓰고 in casual speech 좀 가볍게 이야기할 때헐 많이 쓰고 대박 많이 쓰고 우와 많이 쓰는데 we have a video Korean explanation uh, exclamations um, it's an old video with Hyojin in it and uh, so you, you can look it up on our site but we will make an updated exclamations video later okay yeah like a sheet of paper um tang. all right um i am uh wn ch str when to use sino korean numbers and native korean numbers so sino korean numbers are based on chinese right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and native korean numbers are 하나 둘셋넷 다섯 여섯 일곱 여덟 아홉 열 can you count them really quickly we have two videos a video where i count or i'm not sure if it was me or kyungun we count from 1 to 100 just without skipping any number in those two videos, one for Sino-Korean numbers and one for native Korean numbers. It's actually quite random. You just have to get used to, oh, when you are saying the hour of the time, you say 한시, 두시. But when you say the minute of the time, uh, you say 
일분, 이분. So you just have to get used to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of comments. I have a question. I have a question for you guys um, before I answer other questions. What, what do you do every day to make sure you learn Korean or your day sees an improved version of your Korean skills? Like, what do you do every day? Like, do you deliberately make an effort to, oh, I have to listen to one Talk To Me Korean lesson. Is that what you do? Or do you watch um, Netflix shows? I also uh, love learning languages and I listen to a lot of podcasts and I try to read books in other languages. But, you know, if it's not automatic, your days can be busy, hectic schedules can prevent you from uh, improving, right? So, uh, Latisha Torres, I try to use a word or sentence a day. That's good. Yeah. Try to, oh, and learning languages LL, uh, I read Korean manhwa news and stuff like that. You watch videos, flashcards. Okay, flashcards is great. All right. Yeah, share your stories because uh, we want to know how you guys spend time to make sure you improve Korean every single day because that's the best way to improve. You know, you, you don't want to have breaks, gaps, intervals where you take a break for too, too long and then you lose steam, lose motivation. You have to keep going and we want to help you. Like if it's, uh, word a day kind of content that you're following. We want to provide you with that. And if it's dialogues Korean people have in Korean, like between, between them, we want to provide you with more materials like that. So, ah, okay. I see that I can't read, I can't like read out loud every single comment, but you guys can see each other's comments, right? On Instagram as well. Usage is so important, yes. So. I think you have to look at it in two different angles. 두 가지 다 챙겨야 되는 것 같아요. By the way, 챙기다, I just used a very good, uh, very useful verb, 챙기다. You make sure you don't forget this element. Uh, for example, uh, 옷 챙기세요, like don't forget your clothes. 책 챙기세요, don't forget your books, you know, to, to take them with you. Or uh, any important things that you have to make sure you do is uh, can be, described with 챙기다. So 두 가지를 챙겨야 돼요. You have to have input like every day, meaningful input, and you also have to have meaningful output every day, either through a journal entry or through a comment or something like that. You buy Korean books for kids. That's good, yeah. If you can find books that are the right level for you. You struggle to find somebody to practice with. Yeah, then have a platform where you can practice like talking with somebody, but there are services that do offer. Uh, I can recommend our friends services, Hello Talk and Say Speaking. So definitely look into those. We do have review quiz questions in the premium membership section of our new website. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are new, or who haven't um, followed our news, we launched a new version of the website about nine, 10 days ago, last Tuesday. And um, yeah, I like it. And it seems like a lot of people like it. There is, of course, room for improvement. Our development, development team um, is working really hard um, to fix all the bugs and errors that are found due to um, many people using the service. But uh, when you actually see the next stage of the website and the next stage, you are going to love it. Um, we have big goals and ambitions for the new platform. So basically what it is, is we have essential courses, levels one to 10. Level 10 is not published yet, but we will publish it in the first quarter of the year. Uh, I promise you that it's coming because most people are staying in the uh, lower levels, we are focusing on other things first because we only have like, 13 people on the team. Wish we had like 30 instead of 13. 
Um, and essential courses are here, and the premium courses are here. You can uh, buy a subscription and then access everything. And the bookstore is here. So you can stay with the essential courses and also with the YouTube videos and podcasts. We have some new podcasts coming. Or you can go to the premium section and access everything or study with the books, which uh, a lot of people are already doing. OK, back to a question about Korean. Uh, OK, so this is not a Korean-related question. Dimitria, Hyunwoo, are we going to get more free stuff on the, on the website? Because I am, I am in college and can't afford the premium membership right now. Hopefully soon, though. Yeah, I hope so, too. And um, on our website, I will erase this one because it's not relevant text anymore. Um, on the website, you will see the essential courses and more courses coming to the premium section. But on YouTube and on Instagram, Twitter, and through podcasts, you will continue seeing free lessons like the one that we just published two days ago on Kuji, how to use Kuji, right? The word Kuji. Did you guys watch this video? And um, actually, we saw that many people enjoyed the uh, enjoyed the sample dialogues that we put in. There were sam five sample dialogues that uh, I had my coworkers act out, and um, we'll we'll do that more since you guys enjoyed it. Okay, um, John Basic, thank you for the super chat comment. Uh, five dollars. I'm a programmer with friends who worked at Memorize. I think the new website is a big improvement, and it is on its way to be. I'm a programmer with friends who worked at Memorize. I think the new website is a big improvement, and it is on its way to be on par with Duolingo. Good job. Wow, that's a that's a big compliment. Um, yes, we know that Memorize and Duolingo. Babel, um, there are other bigger brands that cover more languages than just Korean. Um, but we want to achieve great things with the Korean language. And hopefully, in the future, we will have an equally big influence on the le language learning community. Thank you. We're working really, really hard every day. OK. Mm. Uh, Bethany asks, Hyunwoo, any tips for learning Hangul and basic pronunciation? Well, um, I don't have to give you like tips for learning Hangul, per se. Uh, there are videos you can watch. We have a course. We have a book. Like Learning Hangul itself is relatively easy. But pronunciation, pronunciation, if you have any trouble with pronunciation, I highly, highly recommend that you record your own voice, like reading things out loud and comparing a native speaker's pronunciation and your pronunciation. The first time I recorded my own pronunciation in English, I was blown away by how terrible it was. <laughs> I was, I that my pronunciation skills were this good, but that it was just terrible. So you can actually see the difference between your goal and your current level by monitoring. And recording your voice is a good, Monitoring method. OK. All right. Yeah, uh, for it's a reminder for Instagram um, followers. This screen is reversed on Instagram, so I can't show you anything anyway. So that's why I'm just sitting in front of it. All right. Um, Maddie. Well, thank you for asking about Jun, my son. Juni 잘, 네, 잘 있어요. He's seven Korean age. Uh, five, almost, uh, turning six, like fully six this year. And he's big. He's very, yeah, very big. OK. Oh, what are good compliments to Koreans? 한국 사람들한테 하기 좋은 칭찬? Hmm. Can you be a little more specific, like in terms of what? All right. 좋아요. Nasma, okay. 
This is the second time I'm picking your comment, but thank you for acknowledging it. Just 13 people for this great work. Um, thank you. Actually, our team was seven people only up until last September. And we had six more people join the team last September. You're not, you haven't seen many of them on uh, screen because they've been working on writing books and stuff like that. Uh, they were working behind the scenes, but you will see them maybe in future videos. And you did see some of them in our recent videos already through sample sentences, sample dialogues. OK. I'm reading through comments, looking for a good question to answer for everyone. <laughs> Angie, uh, 현우 선생님, 개인 유튜브 채널. 개인 유튜브 채널. 개인 is your personal or individual 개인 유튜브 채널. Personal YouTube channel. 언제 비디오 다시 올리실 건가요? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I do have a personal YouTube channel, thankfully, with uh, a fairly large number of subscribers, but I haven't posted anything since last summer. And I don't have any plans to update it yet. I want to just, yeah, spend more time with family and focus on Talk to Me Korean. Thank you, though. All right. This is a, OK, this is a very advanced sentence or phrase, 싸여만 가다. Um, it is from Habiba Al-Bahari. Al um, if you don't know what sata means, it means to pile, OK, pile. And in Korean, these suffixes are often used, these e, he, ri, ki, e, he, ri, ki, these suffixes are often used to form the passive voice form or the causative voice form of a verb. It doesn't, these don't work with every verb in the Korean language, but they do work with many of them. So what I mean is, so when you, for example, po da, when you put e between po and ta, Puida, it becomes to be seen. Okay, it becomes the passive form. And um, uh, Norda is not a good example. Um, okay, Shinta, Shinta is to put on your shoes or your socks. And I often do this with my, I mean, I've often put on my socks and shoes, but I often do this with my kids. Shinkida, Shinbarer, Shinkida. It's a causative, not a passive. Uh, so you put socks on somebody else's feet, okay? Shinkida. And ipta is to put on something, put on clothes or wear. Iphida, so together, iphida, it means to dress someone. So with a specific, you know, suffix like this, so you, you don't say ipida, you don't say iblida, you don't say iphida, iphida. We do have a lesson on this, ihirigi. And um, on our website, in the essential courses, so ipida, so sa ida, so sa ta only works with e among the four letters, four suffixes. Sa ida is to be piled up in the passive form. Is everyone following? Yeah. So sa sa ida and sa yo kada. If you change it to o kada like that. It goes on, so it goes, it's continuing to happen. The, there's a progress, okay? So, sayogada, it goes on piling up. It continues piling up, or it continues being piled up. And sayamangada, it only piles up. It doesn't reduce, it, does, it doesn't become smaller, okay? So that's uh, what it means. Yeah, I like to break things down like this. Uh, you, you can't just look at a phrase and just remember or memorize the meaning. You just always have to look at the individual elements and see what's missing in your knowledge database in your brain. OK. All right, another word-related 
question 정도 이 정도 저 정도 어느 정도 so 정도 is degree okay or extent 정도 so 이 정도 저 정도 어느 정도 like 셋이 정도 so 정도 since it means degree and 이 정도 is like this much 저 정도 is like that much 어느 정도 is to a degree to an extent 3시 정도 is around 3 a.m. around 3 p.m. around 3 o'clock like yeah approximately 3 o'clock so 정도 is yeah that that's what it means and 설명 너무 잘하세요 thank you <laughs> great explanation thank you um, just like just like I am happy whenever you say 설명 잘해요 쉽게 설명해 주셨어요 things like that great explanation when I see complimented comments I feel good right you need to also as a learner seek compliments from other people and you can do that by forming a group of people who you can study with or posting progress reports on social media so keep doing that whenever you learn a new word just boast it to everyone um, and then other people will give you compliments and you want to continue all right oh okay good question i will answer this specific korean relate korean expression related question and then move over to some other things so isimnika innayo isoyo okay so um, these are all ways to ask do you have something or is there something or is something available now so itta again breaking everything down to the core elements um, down to like small parts itta is to have or to exist so you can say i'm here or when somebody asks uh, does anybody have a spare pen here you know ten dollars for 10 minutes or something like that and um itta changes to it's yo in the present tense formal um conjugation so it's yo there is there uh, are i have something like that and it's so yo is a question okay 시간 있어요? do you have time it's a, it's a very neutral way um is it lagging Hopefully it's not anymore. Okay, 책 있어요? And then you can answer, 책 있어요? And then 책 있습니까? Here, this one, the top one. 책 있습니까 is the most formal one. And you can use this in formal settings, of course, because it's the most formal, 있습니까? But it's a little too formal. You know, you don't say this among your friends or to your family. 있나요 is kind of in the middle. Um, because because of that na when you when you say when you add the suffix na to a question, it becomes a little softer and less abrupt, less inuroja. 질문을 조금 더 부드럽게 할수 있어요, more softly. So, and the reason is na is um, a way to express wonder or doubt. So you're asking the other person, but also asking yourself. So the responsibility is sort of split. So you're not like, hey, do you have it? Like in your face. You're like, I wonder if you have it. So innayo is a better way to ask a question or 오늘, 오늘, for example, you're calling a Korean restaurant or a coffee shop or any kind of business. 오늘 문 열어요? This is not a bad sentence per se. Yeah, but uh, so I will delete the other ones. But by conjugating it to 여나요, 문, 오늘 문 여나요, or 오늘 문 여시나요, by adding 시, which is the honorific form, honorific suffix, and 나, which is a softener for questions. 오늘 문 여시나요? That's the most respectful, that's the most polite way to ask someone, are you guys open today? It also depends on the intonation, but by changing the ending of sentences, you can, you can do a lot, uh, um, change a lot of things, have different kinds of impacts uh, on other people, like give different kinds of 
impressions on other people. By the way, um, what do you think about, I don't know, like, I, I can't promise you anything, but would you like more live sessions like this? As you know, uh, we have Kyungha, Kyungha giving live, live sessions every Friday morning at 11 a.m. Korean Standard Time. But Kyungha usually has a specific topic, has a book that she covers, she follows a plan, but I enjoy doing more spontaneous live sessions like this, Q&A sessions, and I don't know, like, if you enjoy just watching and participating, that's good. But sometimes I, I, I worry that some people might think, oh, there's no central topic for this. Like I'm at this level, that question he's answering is too easy for me. And some people say, oh, I am a beginner. He's speaking too much Korean. That's possible, right? Okay, everybody's saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think of the idea of um, me using more Korean as translations for what I say in English? Or I can say something in Korean first. Yeah. It's easier for me, actually. <laughs> All right, great. Let's find a way. 방법을 찾아보죠. 네. Because I personally also love listening to natural material, like conversation, conversations among native speakers. Uh, English first. 한국어 먼저. <laughs> See? Like, people's preferences are all, always split. Okay. How can you apply a country to a noun, like an American person or a Chinese tourist, a Korean teacher? A Korean teacher will be a, a different kind of case. But anyway, so you can put, just you can just say the country name, 미국, 미국, 미국. And then an American, like, you know, as a noun, would be 미국인 or 미국 사람, but you don't need 인 or 사람 when you have another noun following 미국, 미국 학생, an American student, 프랑스 학생, a French student, not a student of the French language, uh, a student of the French language or a, a student of the Korean language would be 한국어, 를 배우는 학생 or 사람 한국어를 배우는 학생 or 사람 something like that. It's a little longer. 한국어 Korean language 를 object marker 배우다 is to learn 배우는 someone that learns. So yeah, um, 일본 음, 학자 like a Japanese scholar or 독일 교수, yeah, a German professor. You, if you, if if the phrase is confusing for some reason, you can put like 독일인 or 독일 사람, but normally just the country name and the title or whatever noun that you want to modify. 네, 그렇게 하면 돼요. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Demetria says, Hyunwoo 선생님, I have a question. When uh, numbers are used, uh, is it normally written out like 10 or the number just used like uh, ship like? Okay, so, so there are three ways you can write numbers in the Korean language, within the Korean language. 한국어에서 숫자를 보통 이렇게 세 가지로 쓸수 있어요. 아라비아 숫자를 쓸수 있고, 아라비아 uh, 숫자. We say Arabia sutta for these numbers, like numeric numbers. And then Yol, Sino Korean, Ship, no, Native Korean, Ship, Sino Korean. Sometimes I may make mistakes. Um, you can do it either way. 
uh, when it's usually like specific units. Um, so meter is meter. So you, often you say 10 meter. You don't say 10 meter. You don't often see 10 meter written like this. When it's like measurements, the the numeric units are easier to see, right? Like 200 mm, 200. Even even the unit units are often written like this using the alphabet letters. Um, so for measurements, yeah, numbers are more common. But for like um, one one person, you don't say 일명 in everyday sentences or in everyday text messages to your friends. Uh, it so if you write it like that, it can be read as 일명 to like in very formal reports like yeah like 백일명 or 삼백오십일명 yeah but normally in casual sentences you just write 한명 all right 이렇게 자연스러운 대화가 더 좋아요 you like you prefer these normal uh, natural conversations perfect Can you explain official titles like 부장님, 과장님? We could, uh, I, be I believe we have a video on it, but uh, to give you a summary, it really depends on the organization. In Within our team, we don't have terms like 과장 or 부장, anything like that, because we don't need the titles, but for bigger organizations, they do. And in government offices, sometimes 과장 is higher than 부장 because it all depends on how the organization is structured. So 과 is a section usually, 부 is a department, 장 means head. So 부장님 is like the head of the department, 과장님 is usually the section chief, and there can be 차장님. 차 is often used to mean deputy, or like somebody who is like right below the major role. So 부장님 can be there, and then there will be 차장님, deputy, department head, and then 과장님, yeah. When do you use, ah, okay. Cassie, what are you doing here? Do you wanna stop by if you're watching? Cassie is right there, like literally 10 meters away from me. I, I can't really see her. She's always hiding from me. 항상. She always avoids me. <laughs> 네, if you can listen to me, if you can hear me, come over and say hi. Oh, oh no, she's coming. 지금 소리가 들려요. Oh, 들어왔어. <laughs> Is there a lag between you? Oh, I don't know. Is there? I just said, I don't know. There is a lot. Okay. <laughs> Come in, sit. Hi. <laughs> Come in, sit. <laughs> wow, yeah, there's an extreme. Like, All right. <laughs> so, just coming in now. Just coming in now. <laughs> yeah. 안녕하세요. Say hi to everyone. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> this, this morning. Is so weird. Yeah. Looking at my <laughs> You don't look at yourself every five minutes? No. Okay. That's just you. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have a mirror on the desk. Kyungun does. Oh, okay. So you're looking in her mirror. No, no, no. She's <laughs> looking at herself. Oh, 지금 여기 인스타그램에도 보이나요? 네. 오늘 아침에도 출근했는데 저한테 인사 안 했잖아요. 인사했어요. 제가 먼저 했잖아요. 인사했는데요. She came in. No, she came in this morning. <laughs> avoided me. Didn't say hi. I did so not avoid you. I I had. To, I said hello, but he did not hear me because he was too busy. You failed at avoiding me, so you said hi. <laughs> no. <laughs> 네. <laughs> 네. 네. 제가 안녕하세요. No, did I say 안녕하세요 or hi or good morning? I, do, I don't remember what you said. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was English though. 
good morning or something like that. Yes. Yeah, good morning. And she's like, who's that weird guy? 그래서 인사했어요. 네. Our, our office is very different now, now that we've moved offices. So he's very far away from the door, so it's kind of difficult to say hello. I know you're very happy about it. Yes. 좋죠? Yes. 네. 아주 좋아요. 네. 항상. <웃음> <웃음> 어, 네, 멀리 있는데. 네, 질문. 캐시 씨한테 질문 있으면 해주시고요. 네, 없으면. 네, 쫓아낼게요. 네. If you don't have any questions for her, I will kick, kick her out. Oh, you're going to kick me out? I will gently push you out. How about that? Okay. 네, 쫓아내는 건 아니고 그냥 이렇게 안녕히 가세요 할게요. Uh, Nadine is asking, how am I? Oh. <laughs> 잘 지냈어요? 네. 네, 잘 지냈어요. 네. 바빴어요. 네. I was very busy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. <laughs> <웃음> 네, 진짜 진짜 바빴어요. 바쁘죠 지금도. 네. 네. 어 안경 안경 이거 새로 산거 아니죠? 이 안경 오래됐죠? 오, 네. Yeah. 오래됐어요. They're, been... they're, I've had them for a while, but I don't think I've worn them in videos very much. Mm-hmm. Can I try them on? Sure. 한번. 오 눈이 왜 이렇게 안 좋아요? <웃음> <웃음> 어지러. They're not, they're not that bad. 어우 oh, 진짜 어지러운데요? 오. 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 I look like 뽀로로. 뽀로로? <웃음> 잘 어울리는데. 그래요? They look good on you. 네. 오. Oh. <웃음> They're not that bad. 오. <웃음> oh. Someone says, 이뻐요. 저요? 캐시? Mm-hmm. You're pretty. 네. <웃음> 아 진짜 근데 방금 보통 다른 친구들의 안경 쓰고 있으면 한번 써보거든요. 얼마나 차이가 나는지 보려고. I usually like trying on my friends' glasses just to see like what kind of difference is there. 아, 안 돼요. 너무 너무 어지러웠어요. Do you have 2020 vision? I do, yes. I'm jealous. 네, 한국 한국에서는 2.0이 2.0? 만점이에요. 음. 알죠? Instagram is pausing due to poor connection. For some reason. 네, 안 어울리는 안경이래요. Yeah, they don't look good on me. 어, 미국에서는 2020가 만점인데 다른 나라는 어때요? What's it like in other countries? Uh, so if you have perfect vision in Korea, it's 2.0. 2.0 like this. Yeah, yeah, 2.0. And I can, thankfully, thanks to my mom, I can read everything down to the little tiny like letters and shapes. I but, can't even read those even with my glasses on. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I'm <laughs> I'm thankful. But the nurses don't trust me, so they always put 1.5, like right oh, really? one step of yeah. So yeah, I'm sad. Oh, Iraq에서는 six out of six. Six out of six. Nice. K-pop dance mirror says, "How can I?" Say? 이라크에서는 six out of six. Six out of six. Nice. K-pop dance mirror says, "How can I say kind of concept?" It is, yeah. 네, 한국에서는 how are you라고 잘 생각하지 않고 잘 물어보지 않죠. That's right. We do have a translation, which is 안, 잘 지냈어요 or 안녕하세요. Yeah. 안녕하세요 is like hi. Right. Hey, I see you. Hi. 잘 지냈어요. Usually, like, you wouldn't say that to someone that you saw yesterday yeah. or, or even two or three days ago. So yeah. Like someone you haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah. So, how are you? Or uh, in other language, in other European languages too, like, Saba or Comment uh, Vati, like something like that, always was very, very new to me. And like, even 20 or so years later, like, since I started learning English, it's still new. It's a new con. It feels like a new concept. To me, because I live in Korea, um, people don't like greet each other, like divide the days and ask mm-hmm. each other, how are you today? It's just right. a continuation. But anyway. That's how I felt about Koreans asking, mm. like they ask that so often, yeah. have you eaten? Mm-hmm. Have you had a meal yet? 네, 네. 문화마다 뭔가 만났을 때 그냥 아무 말도 안할 수는 없잖아요. 그래서 뭔가 생긴 것 같은데 그게 달라서 재미있어요. 
in every culture, you have to say something when you meet someone and greet someone. You can't stay silent. Right. But there's so many different things people say, and it's interesting. Cassie, which country are you from? 미국에서 왔어요. 네, 미국에서 왔어요. I'm from America. She can say, okay. She can say safely and correctly, 미국에서 왔어요. Mm -hmm. If you are in the States now, you can't say it. That's right. Yeah. Because you didn't come to Korea yet. You're not in Korea. So uh, when somebody asks you online, like, 어느 나라 사람이세요? Where are you from? You can say 미국 사람이에요. I am American. 프랑스 사람이에요. 루마니아 uh, 사람이에요. 이라크 사람이에요. Never say 이라크에서 왔어요. Like you didn't come here yet. So 왔어요. You can only use it when you're in Korea physically. Or in another country besides your, your home country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I saw someone ask me, "Am I Latina?" No, I am not. I'm Scandinavian. Mm -hmm. Yes. Norwegian. Norwegian. Yeah. By descent. <laughs> she she's actually um, I don't know. I think you look more tan than before. You yeah. used to look more pale. I remember. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> she's more tan than I remember from maybe, before. Maybe I've gotten some sun. Yeah. <laughs> in the winter in Korea. <laughs> 오늘은 좀 구름이 많이 꼈네요. Okay, so back to work. Okay. You stay here thanks, for too long. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> thanks for being here. We'll, we'll do more Bye. sessions with Cassie Bye. later on. Okay. Thank you. Um, let me answer some questions uh, on behalf of her, for her, about her. Uh, she's been working with us for the past almost four or five years, I think. Yeah. Uh, vous pouvez parler un peu français et bien. Uh, je ne comprends pas pourquoi le mot encore est là-bas, mais uh, oui, je peux, je peux parler uh, français um, quand il est nécessaire, mais je n'ai pas beaucoup, beaucoup d'amis français ou françaises ici en Corée, donc uh, je n'ai pas beaucoup d'occasion de, de parler, mais. Uh, Oui, je crois que je peux dire que je parle français. Ok, and other questions? 벌써 지금 거의 한 시간이 되어 가고 있어요. 그래서 어, 인스타에서는 지금 네, 한 10분 정도 있으면 끝날 것 같은데요. All right, more questions? 당하다, ok. 당하다. Let's talk about this word. So in English, in other languages too, um, a, lot of, a lot of verbs can be turned into the passive form. So for example, um, scam somebody. You can turn it scammed or um, fire, be fired, like that. But when it's a negative situation, a negative noun, in Korean, you use the noun for the verb, for the action, and then you put 당하다. 당하다 is never positive. So you can say, um, like, 사기를 당하다. 사기 is scam, scamming. So 사기를 치다. 사기를 치다 is to scam someone. Um, but 사기를 당하다. Um, like when you're invited to some, some, something uh, by someone, you don't say 초대를 당했어요. Yeah, so 사기를 당하다, it's very, very negative. Yeah, I, I won't bother typing out negative, but um, so, or like when you are fired, you can say 해고. Um, 해고 is firing someone, the action of the act of firing. 해고를 당하다. Yeah, stuff like that. That's how you use 당하다. All right. Um, good question. Ramian uh, Purba, how to memorize Korean words easier? Um, what I always say is learn 
every single word you learn, like every single new word through context. If the context is strong enough, you will remember it for the rest of your life. Like if you see a very, very creepy, very scary monster in your dream, and then you know the name of it, will you ever forget the name of the monster you just saw in your dream? Never. I know it's not practical to try to make every single word very dramatically strong in terms of context, but you can try and that itself will make things easier to remember new words. Um, and also one way to learn new words through context is right there and then whenever you, you learn a new word, make sample sentences, look up a sample sentence, tweak it so that the sample sentence fits your situation. And that's how I learn it. And like how I learn new languages, new words as well. Um, yeah, so. All right. Uh, I saw another <laughs> John Basic. Um, that's how I learned 술고래. Did somebody call you 술고래? Okay, 술고래. You know how 고래, whales are not like a type of fish, you know, they are mammals and they can't breathe underwater. They can just hold their breath, like correct me if I'm wrong. But since they're mammals and they have to be in the water, they have a mechanism for drinking a lot of water. So sul is alcohol and kore is whale. So sul gore is like alcohol whale, like somebody who drinks a lot and also often. So I can like point at like two specific people on the team. Like I won't say their names. Um, their initials are KY and JY. But anyway, um, <laughs> you can guess. Uh, yeah, so Surgore is somebody who's drink, who drinks a lot. OK, uh, there was a good question. 집에 가요 and 집에 간다. OK, 집에 가요, 집에 간다. 집에 가요, by the way, um, so 52 minutes into the chat on Instagram, it'll automatically end. So after this question, I will say goodbye to all the people watching on Instagram and then continue on on YouTube, OK? Sorry about that. You can hop on over to YouTube. So 집에 가요, 집 is your house, home. 에 is to, OK? So 집에, like to your house. 가다 is to go. And 가요 is the present tense conjugation, 집에 가요. So that works. And 집에 간다 is a exclamation. 집에 간다, you're telling everyone, hey, 나 집에 간다, usually. And this is in 반말, casual speech. So you can't say 나 집에 간다 or even without 나 집에 간다 to 반말. Sticking to 반말, casual speech. 나 갈게. When you say 나 간다, you, when you say 나 간다, you are saying that, um, you are implying that you don't care if the other person um, says anything about it. 나 갈게 is more like, oh, uh, I'm kind of waiting on your reaction. So when you want to be a little more, yeah, it's lagging. It happens like from time to time. So whenever you want to wait for somebody's permission, you can say, um, 나 갈게, what do you think? And 나 간다 is more like, I'm leaving. OK. Do we have an opening? 공석이 있어요? <laughs> not right now. <laughs> we are not hiring right now, but we want to in the future. OK. Um, 나름. All right. Good word. 나름. Um, I'll make a proper separate video about this. 나름 is the full form is 나름대로. 나름대로. You can say 나름 or 나름대로. It means in its own way. Um, 
it's not perfect, but in its own way, it's a good state. For example, uh, 저 나름 열심히 했어요. So 열심히 is diligently uh, when you work hard. 열심히 is the adverb to describe it. 열심히 했어요. I tried hard. 저 열심히 했어요. I tried hard. I put in a lot of effort. Um, 나름 is maybe what I've put in, kind of effort that I've put in, is not up to par, you know, with your standard. But 나름, in my own way, I did my best. 맛있어요 is tasty. Like, it's tasty. It's yummy. 나름, 맛있어요. It's not the best. Maybe if some 나름, 맛있어요. It's not the best. Maybe if somebody who is like a famous chef, somebody like 백종원, comes to taste this dish, maybe he will say bad things about it. But to me, or in its own way, 나름, 맛있어요. It's not too bad. So 나름 is um, how, what it means. Okay, 지금 and 이제, a lot of people ask us this question actually repeatedly, which is not a bad thing because it means that many people have reached this level where 지금 is now and 이제 is now and you're wondering about have reached this level where 지금 is now and 이제 is now and you're wondering about 지금 is just a neutral way to say now, like 지금 몇 시에요? 이제 is related to the progress, uh, like progression of time. So when you, when there is a st state cha status change or situation change involved, you say 이제. So it was three o'clock earlier. And now, what time is it? 이제 몇 시에요? That's what it uh, means. 이제 can have other usages, but that's the main difference. Um, for those of you who are new to the chat and who are new to the channel, we are called Talk To Me in Korean, T-T-M-I-K. And uh, a reminder, people who, for people who have not visited our new website, we launched our new website nine, nine days ago on Tuesday last week. And um, many, many people have signed up again or for the first time, and we have a premium membership that you can use through a subscription. We have the usual bookstore, redesigned, and a lot of people are studying with our books uh, all over the world. So please do check out TalkToMeKorean.com for more lessons like this one and even better ones. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and press end on the live chat. I don't want it to just abruptly finish and then, you know, not say goodbye. So just YouTube, okay? Thank you for tuning in on Instagram. For tuning in on Instagram. And then share to story. So uh, if you are also not on Instagram or not following us on Instagram, you can see quizzes and news updates about our website, what we're doing, and also some fun, our website, what we're doing, and also some fun photos. Recently, I posted this one. 나를 따르라. This was written on the plastic bag. This was written on the plastic bag of uh, this cola bottle. 따르다 is to pour or to follow. And so and so 하라 is like a command. So 나를 따르라 is a fun way to say, pour me. You know, that's what a cola bottle would say, right? Or, 나를 따르라, follow me. I'm the leader. So that was a funny pun. You saw that? Cool, say, right? Or, 나를 따르라, follow me. I'm the leader. So that was a funny pun. You saw that? Cool. <laughs> okay, let me just read some comments. 말하기 실력이... 어, 늘려면 어떻게 해야 돼요? 말하기 실력. Well, speaking skills. Mm, of course, there are 
is a lot of practice you can do when you talk to native speakers. Of course, the more practice you can get with a native speaker or in a conversation, the better. But I know, and you guys also know that realistically, not every learner can spend one hour each day with a native speaker just talking in Korean or any language that you want to learn. So the closest practice you can get is writing a lot, actually, writing a lot and just expressing a lot of ideas. And then by just practicing pronunciation, just by equipping yourself with the ability to be able to read everything, whatever you see in front of you, written in text, out loud, super fast, super fluidly, and smoothly and correctly in Korean pronunciation, the next time you have to talk with somebody, the sentences will be in your head already, like formed right away because you practiced forming sentences, and then you just have to read them. That's it. And that's the closest practice I can get as a language learner myself, and you can get, I think, as a learner. OK, Deborah, um, Deborah, when I say my boyfriend, is it 우리 남친 or 내 남친? Um, OK, 우리 남친, 내 남친. Yeah, um, 우리 남친. You can say either, depends. Uh, if it's, if you're speaking 존댓말, you can't say 저희, 저희 남, 남자친구. You have to say 제 남자친구, my boyfriend, 제 남자친구. And switching to 반말, it's 내 남자친구. Often you just drop it. Uh, 남자친구가 my boyfriend is, or my girlfriend is 여자친구가, you just drop it. Um, I also say, uh, 와이프한테 이야기해볼게. I'll talk to my wife. I don't say 내 와이프. But even if you say 우리, it doesn't mean our shared boyfriend. <laughs> it doesn't mean that. So no, no confusion, no misunderstanding there. OK, um, Sayaman, I explained Sayaman earlier. And um, doesn't man only stick to nouns? Man doesn't only stick to nouns. Uh, it can stick to other things too. Yeah, adverbs as well. Usually nouns, but here it works. Um, Abigail, do I still learn new things about English? Of course. Um, I go to the gym every morning and I listen to whatever is the newest episodes of the podcasts that I'm subscribed to. And one of the podcasts that I listen to is a one minute news report from the BBC. And I quite like it. Um, and they talked about BTS this morning, I think, uh, about the fact that they launched their new single through TikTok. Um, <laughs> so, and what, I don't learn like new grammar rules or anything like that, but new ways of saying things, like more stylish ways of expressing the same idea that I already know how to express. That effort should never end. For advanced Korean learners too, you need to always like listen to more materials and listen to people talk and be observant and stuff like that, and then you will accumulate more these days. I mean, I don't get to speak it often these days. Pero, sí, puedo, puedo hablar español um, con, mi, um, con mis amigos y amigas que uh, viven en Corea. Mi español es más básico uh, que mi francés o, o mi japonés o mi inglés. Y, uh, Probablemente mi coreano también, pero sí, puedo ent entender mucho en español también. OK. You got to go, Panda. Um, see you next live, next week live, Sam. 감사합니다. What language do I think in? The only two languages that I think in. What language do I think in? The only two languages that I think in are Korean and English because of uh, how much time I've spent with those two languages. I, I also speak uh, Japanese, but I don't think in, I also speak uh, Japanese, but I don't think in Japanese at all because I just 
think in Korean and switch everything to Japanese. All right. What is the difference between 움직이? What is the difference between 움직이다 and 옮기다? 움직이다 is and 옮기다. 움직이다 is to move. Like whenever you are moving your body, you can say 움직이다, 움직여요. So to move, like whenever you are moving your body, you can say 움직이다, 움직여요. So so 움직이지 마세요. Like don't move. Like when you are doing some kind of, I don't know, freeze, um, 움직이지 마세요. Or something behind you is dangerous, 움직이지 마세요. 옮기다 is to move something to another location. Or when you are saying you're moving to another location in terms of moving houses or moving jobs. Spanish matches me. Thank you. There are some videos that I posted on my personal channel um, where I speak Spanish with my friend Lara from Spain. I've never dreamt in French. Prangsoronen kumkunjog omnengo bateo. French. Prangsoronen kumkunjog omnengo bateo. No. Pas encore. Ça n'est pas arrivé encore. All right, so I think I, yeah, tried, I tried to answer some important questions about um, the Korean language. I will answer maybe two more questions and then call it a day, okay? Saturi, we have some Saturi courses coming this year. We only have one course on Gyeongsangdo Saturi, which is usually used in the Busan area, but we will have other Saturis covered uh, this year. So please be on the lookout for that. All right. All right. 저와 제의 차이는 무엇인가요? 저와 제의 차이는 무엇인가요? This is the original form, 저의, but just shorten it to 제. And you most commonly used 제 instead of 저의. You, you can say 저의. Uh, you can maybe accidentally start a sentence with 저 and then say 의 like that. But most mostly you just, just say say. Okay. Debbie, I remember you, of course. Debbie, Debbie, I remember you, of course. Debbie Tingzon, um, 10년 전에 티티믹에서 한국어를 배웠, Tingzon, um, 10년 전에 티티믹에서 한국어를 배웠고요. 진심으로 정말 고맙습니다. Yes. 진심으로 정말 고맙습니다. Yes. What's great about Talk to Me in Korean, the Talk to Me in Korean community is, uh, I know many of you are also new to the channel, new to the website, new to the tribe, um, but I also remember specifically uh, many names of people who, uh, many names of people who started with us in, started with us in 2009. And those people, many of you will remember, still remember the day I got married, the day I posted the first picture of my firstborn, stuff like that. So yeah, thank you. 그동안 진짜 10년 동안 어, 계속 공부하신 분도 있고요. There are people who have studied continuously with us for the past 10 years. 그리고 10년 전에 저희랑 공부하다가 뭐 공부를 Talk to me in Korean으로 계속 안 하신 분도 있어요. 내가 전에 만나면 한국어를 또 다른 데서 배우셨을 수도 있는데 정말 잘 하시는 거예요. I see them, you know, after a long while and they might have learned Korean elsewhere but their Korean is Korean is really good. 그러면 정말 정말 기뻐요. 보람도 느껴지고. I'm always very happy and I find it very rewarding to have put out content like that. You've been here for 10 years. That's good. That's awesome. Oh, Debbie. 
<laughs> you remember my wedding day because it's your birthday. Yes, August 13th. Do, you, do I remember your name? Rakiza. Um, it looks familiar. I don't think I talked to you personally before. I did talk to Debbie personally. Uh, so that's why I remember her more specifically. Okay. So thank you. Um, just like in every other live stream session, I can't answer every question, but next time I will try to answer more questions. Um, and please tune in again. If you want to, if you're motivated to learn more Korean today before you go to sleep or go to work, please visit our website, talktomekorean.com, or study more, stay here on YouTube and watch some of the recent videos that we posted. 네, 계속 공부해 주시고요. 한국어 정말 어휘가 많죠. 다른 언어도 똑같아요. 네, other languages are the same. There's an endless number of words that you have to learn. But you, you know, you don't aim to be perfect in this new language. You can't. You can never be as good as you are in your mother tongue. But just find joy in the daily progress that you make. 네, 모국어만큼 잘할 수는 없잖아요. 그러니까 매일 조금씩 조금씩 실력이 늘어가는 것에서 기쁨을 찾으시면 됩니다. All right. Thank you so much and. I will see you in the next live chat and in the next video that we post. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요.